Workers. Welcome to numerologist.com. It's me, Vanessa from Beyond Your Sun Sign. Get your popcorn because we have quite a few cards that popped out for each um, category. So sit tight and let's get started. Okay, take a deep breath in and exhale. Now think of a number between one and three. One, two, or three. All right, you chose card number one, okay? Conflict, conflict, conflict. Conflict involving at least four other people. Do you know what a frenemy is? Do you know what an open enemy is? You know, it's the people that are in your life that you know are not necessarily for you. That you you know that that person, you know, maybe they're a sister-in-law or a mother-in-law and they have to, I know I said in-laws, maybe they're, they're direct relatives. They're in your life, but your intuition over the last little bit has showed you that they're not actually 100% for you. Sometimes it's just those small little comments. Oh, how's your little business doing? Things like that. The conflict is coming up to be cleared. The conflict is only there because you've manifested it in, all right? So as soon as we can take responsibility for the conflict in our lives and what it's trying to show us, it no longer controls us without our, without our permission, right? So this conflict involving at least four people is coming in and bringing its, like a, a zit coming to the surface to be popped. And within that pus, disgusting metaphor, is the recognition that you need to move on from something. There's three things in particular. I think what it is is the four people that you're having conflict with, three of them, the conflict is a pattern. It's something that's already happened to you before in the past that's now getting brought back up to be like, are you going to clear this pattern once and for all? Maybe it's the fact that they're just not on your side. And that reminds you of a time in kindergarten when, you know, that that kid wasn't on your side and you're still pained from that. You still feel betrayed and a lack of trust because of that. There are three situations you have to move on from by letting go. Once you do, we have a new beginning coming in, new beginning, Ace of Wands, and look what that new beginning leads to. Your family, like this card, I don't have to explain it. It's a bunch of coins and your family and like see this roof, this archway is security, right? Like that, that's all the security you need. Money, family, roof over your head. That's what this is leading to as long as you recognize do not get sucked into this conflict because if you get sucked into the conflict without pulling yourself back and be like, okay, well, maybe the conflict is because this is that and really getting analytical about it and analyzing it and improving yourself through it instead of going, everything happens to me. Uh, you know, I didn't manifest this. This is because they, as soon as you're finger pointing, and I bet you you're going to get some damages, you know, cut your index finger or, you know, a hangnail or break a nail. Something with the index finger will remind you that you're doing way too much finger pointing and it's time to turn inward and then release it because you don't want this conflict to happen and then you just have four more people that you have to release 10 years from now. So do what you need to do to release what that does is it brings in a new beginning and then financial security for the whole family. There's one person that kind of jumped out. I'm not quite sure how they're connected, but a feminine earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, kind of snuck uh, their way in here. Uh, so they might be one of those people that you have conflict with, or they're the ringleader that has been trying to hide and, and manipulating the puppet master, manipulating everybody around you. Sometimes it's our first person, right? Like, so maybe it's our, our mother figure or our uh, older sibling that has done this to us before, right? So now it's time to just release that and then new beginnings, financial security for the whole family. All right, because you honor yourself and you stand up for yourself and then everybody else is like, oh, dang, I can do it too. You know, they've already done it. So they walk so I can run and you end up empowering the whole family through that process. But it's on you to break that generational curse, right? That generational uh, energy of just conflict and pain and harboring resentment. It's time to just move on and let go. It's okay to, right? It doesn't mean that you've lost. You've actually won. You've won peace, right? All right. If you chose card number two, 
We have the Queen of Swords. So this is feminine energy, uh, air sign. So Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, feeling super pinned down. It's really your thoughts surrounding it. So really just having a hard time compartmentalizing your relationship with this Queen of Swords. Um, and, you know, your thoughts are just really making you feel really, really stuck and pinned down uh, when it comes to this Queen of Swords relationship. However, what it is doing is it's making you feel emotionally good. You feel really good emotionally, but then your thoughts are constantly creeping in being like, well, you know, what about that air sign? What about the Libra? What about the Aquarius? What about the Gemini? There's always going to be that person to pull you out of your happiness. Um, and a lot of times it's a positive thing because it's a reminder that you're happy, right? It's only when we see the the black that we recognize the white, right? Like, so if you're finding that this person is causing you stress and really in your mind and pulling you out of your place of happiness, the best way to get back into that place of happiness is recognizing that you were in a place of happiness in order to be pulled out from. So in a way, you kind of owe the Queen of Swords. <laughs> you can you can send uh, her her gratitude energetically, and then you get uh, more positivity coming back, and it just shifts the entire relationship, right? All right. If you chose card number three, we have quite a few cards. We have the Three of Wands then the five of pentacles was hiding under the justice card uh the hermit card and then the ten of wands so the five of pentacles hiding under the justice card that tells me that in a past life you took some sort of vow of poverty i was talking about this with a client just the other day a lot of the times in our past lives we will vow to do something kind of like even getting married right you marry your partner and you're like till death do us part without realizing that death doesn't really exist so that's why we have these people coming back in a different form lifetime 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 right because we we have that vow so you created a vow of scarcity a vow of poverty uh and almost like a vow of charity when it comes to your your energy it's all it's all karmically balanced this is something that you called in that you vowed to so it's time to take some time alone to revoke those agreements those contractual contract those agreements to revoke them energetically and what that will do is it's a lot of work. It's definitely going to be a lot of work because you're going to be going into your Akashic Records, you're going to be going into your database, and you're going to be clearing a lot of vows that you've been kind of living subconsciously through for so long. And sometimes what happens is you realize that you had a lot of vows and contracts that you have to release, right? Like, think about all the lifetimes that we've had, right? Sometimes it's the vow that a soldier gives to fight. So now in this lifetime, you feel like you're constantly fighting, that everything is a battle, everything is an argument, because you still have that soldier's vow, that soldier's agreement from a past life. So do what you need to do to revoke the agreements, to revoke the vows, and cleanse your energy so that moving forward, you're coming from a, a, a blank slate. Best way to do that, do a past life reading. Pull your own cards. You know, if you have a past life card, or even just question it. What what movies are you drawn to, right? Is it that movie that's based in Ireland and you watch it and you're like, oh my God, I feel like I've been there before. Just really like documenting that and like, this must be a past life. This resonates, that pulls me in and then do your own work. But of course you can always just do the easy route and that's to email me and we'll do a past life reading together and clear it together. Love you guys so much. As always, if you want to dive deep into a personal, personalized reading with me, you can find me on Instagram, Beyond Your Sun Sign, or email me, beyondyoursunsign at gmail.com, or you can decide to join the membership portal called The Divine Gang. Love you guys so much, and I will see you next week, aka next month. Bye, guys.